Hello, today we're going to be doing the firmware update on the Happy HCS 1201 Voyager with the color LCD. So at first you have to get the firmware. This will make the machine compatible for Windows 7 and Windows 8 64-bit. So to get that firmware, please email us at techinfo at techsmacusa.com. That's T-E-C-H-I-N-F-O at T-E-X-M-A-C-U-S-A. Once you do that, we will email you the zip file. It'll be about 1.5 megabytes. You'll need to extract that zip file, unzip it, and then once you unzip it, find the yellow unzip folder, double click it, and you'll see 10 files inside there. You'll need to transfer those 10 files to a compact flash card adapter and compact flash card. Install it into the adapter. You can actually get these kits from our parts department, TexMacParts.com, or you can call 704 393 6548. Okay, so first we want to insert the card. Okay, so let's start with the machine off. Doesn't really matter if you have that in to start with, just has to be in before we do the firmware update. So you want to hold the menu button in and then power the machine on. Continue holding the menu button in until you see the happy move frames to screen. Now if you have the older firmware you will not see this. It will be just happy. So let go, press set, frame will move. Now this one will actually go to the menu for maintenance because we already have it updated. But yours would probably go to the main screen like this. Okay? If it does go to the main screen like this, after holding the menu button in and turning the machine on, press menu, go to other, set, maintenance, set. You want to put the code in, that's 2251. Up, right, up, right, up to five right up to one. Press set. Then we're going to go down to install. Then we're going to press install on the right side. Then we're going to see the list of firmware updates. I have several on my car, but the first one we're going to do is the H English 190. Press set. You'll see install data come up on the screen. Okay, now you're going to see it says complete, and then it's going to go back to the main screen. Now, we can do one more firmware file update after the first one, English. So let's hit menu. It should already be on other. We can press set. We're going to go down to maintenance. It should already be there. Press set. At this time, the number should still be in there, but that will change next time. We'll get to that later. Press set again. Go down to install again. Set. We're going to choose install on the right again. This time, in the file list, we're going to look for LCDHA104. So we're going to go down to that, press set. It's going to say installing data. All right, now in a moment, the screen's going to change to a black screen. It's going to say LCD control programming. So we're just going to wait for that. Okay, there you go. Okay, this screen is going to go for approximately a few seconds and then the machine is going to actually reboot. Here we go. Alright, we've rebooted. Now, we need to put the machine in maintenance mode again, so really it's no use to go ahead and hit set here. We may as well just power off the machine because we have to hold the menu button in. Okay, so now we've powered off the machine. Let's hold our menu button in again. Flip the power switch on. Keep holding the menu button in again. This is for maintenance mode. When you see the screen, let go. Set. Okay. Now, as I said, your machine may still do this. Until you get the operating system in, which today we're going to be putting in 1.21, 
you'll keep going to this screen after maintenance mode. So let's hit menu. We'll go down to other. It may be here. We'll go down to other. Press set. Down to maintenance. Set. This time we have to put our code back in. 2251. Press set. We're going to go down to install again. Now the LC, we're going to choose install on the right one more time. Now the LCD one has to be done twice. It adds two different things in which it looks the same but it actually adds two different pieces of firmware in. So we're going to do that one again. So let's press set LCD HA104. Okay, it's going to do the exact same thing. The screen's going to turn black here momentarily. Here we go. LCD control programming installing. Machine's going to do exactly the same thing. But trust me, it's doing two different things here. It basically knows what it's done before when it does the second part. Okay, here we go. We're rebooting. And at this time, we're just going to go ahead and turn the machine back off. We're going to press our menu button in. We're going to turn the machine on again. We're going to put it back in maintenance mode again. Press set. Now it's going to come up to the input code. I'm going to go ahead and escape that because, like I said, you will not be seeing that until you get the new operating system in. This machine, however, already has a new operating system. So yours is going to look like that when it boots back up. So you'll press menu, you'll go down to other, press set, you're going to find maintenance, set, we've got to put our code back in here again, 2251, use your up arrow key, right, up arrow key, right, up to 5, right, up to 1. Press set, we're going to do install. Now this time, we've already done the English, we've already done the LCD, so this time we're going to actually do the operating system. Okay, so let's press set on install. This time we're going to actually go down to prog, short for program. Press set. It's going to search for the program, and here's our data. We're doing CHCSA121 this time. You may have 1.19 or 1. Point whatever. 1.16 and up is compatible with 64-bit, 1 to 7 and 8. So let's choose this. We're going to press set. You're going to see installing data come up just like normal. This time the screen is going to actually turn a little bit lighter when it changes. And we're actually going to see load 201. Then we're going to see a progress bar starting here. All right, momentarily the progress bar will start. Okay, here we go. You're going to see the red light flash a couple of times. Now this is the operating the firmware that's going to actually change the look of the monitor. This is basically like Windows for the machine. It's going to change the this is what change the look where it starts up with the maintenance mode up front and so forth. So now we're going to turn the machine back off. We're going to go into maintenance mode again. We're going to press menu in, flip it on. Now this time since we had the new operating system in going to let go of the menu, hit set at frame move screen, it's going to come up to the input code first. Okay, we're going to go up to 2, up to 2, up to 5, up to 1, press set. We're going to go down to install. We've got one more to do, letter font. Go down to letter font, and it should just show the one file. There it is, LTR 110. We're going to press set on that. Installing data, and this is the final one. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and we will come back when this one's finished. Okay, um, I'm sorry, you will see right 1.01, you'll see a couple of asterisk signs, they will go away one by one. And there goes one, two, three, 
and we're complete. It'll say data initialized. We're going to click set for OK. And the machine's going to come back up to the happy screen. We're going to go ahead and press set this time because we're done. So no more maintenance mode. OK. Now, when it first boots up, you're going to hit the reference guide again. You may already get that if you have the guide selected for, for showing at the beginning. So if you want to turn this off, we're going to go to the bottom screen where it says do not show this screen at startup. Put the cursor on it, press set, you'll see a little black dot in there, hit escape. Now, this is our basic mode. We got to change this to back to advanced. So let's go to options, press set. We're going to choose the blue machine, press set. We're going to hit the arrow key right twice. We're going to get to this page. We're going to go to basic operation mode, basic two. We're going to hit set. We're going to use our down arrow key and change that to advanced. We're going to press set to lock that in. Now we want to go down to trace speed. Trace speed, actually you can set the trace speed now for slow, fast. 100 is, is kind of slow. Zero is your fastest like normal. So let's go on back to zero. So let's go take the cursor left to the one. Hit down, you'll be left with one zero. Press set. There you go. Now for those doing uh, new computers with 64-bit, Windows 7, Windows 8, you'll notice we have a new one now called USB Communication. This has to be USB COM. So we're going to press set, go down to USB COM, press set again. If you choose normal, that only works with XP and 2000 and some Vista 32-bit machines. Okay, so we're going to change that to USB COM. We're going to hit escape. Now you're going to notice all of our icons are back together. Now you're going to notice you're missing some now. That's because we have no designs in the machine. The HCS machine actually wipes all your memory during the firmware, so be aware of that. You need to back your designs up. Make sure they're backed up on the machine. So now I've got a couple of designs on the, in the firmware kit just for testing, so we're going to go ahead and press set on read. It's going to find my two patterns. I'm going to go ahead and select Happy Chris. I'm going to press set. And now you'll notice that all of our icons have came back now. So now we're going to escape one more time. Now, during the process of firmware updates, sometimes when you try to move the needles left and right, you may get an error of 25. Now this particular one did not do it. So we're okay. If you do get error 25, just give us a call at Tech Support. And uh, we'll walk you through the uh, needle memory of that. Or I may actually make another video for that as well. But anyway, that's it. That's how you do firmware for the color LCD monitor. This works actually on the HCD as well as the same. Okay? Thanks.